hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to install a frontal wig so this is the hair that i'm going to use i got this hair from hook hair years ago and you're just gonna need a wig cap just make sure your wig cap is not too tight if it's too tight just cut it at the back just to create more space for you not to get a headache Then I'm just going to use this rubbing alcohol and a cotton wool just to clean the forehead just to make sure that the glue sticks better because I realized that glue does not stick when you have foundation on so I just prefer using this rubbing alcohol you can find it at the skin. This is the glue that I'm going to use I got it from take a lot I honestly prefer layering it as i go you know and just using this comb to distribute it um to the parts where i think the lace will be sticking as well but make sure you do not put it on your hairline because baby it will definitely damage it okay just make sure your glue is nice and tacky the glue is supposed to dry out clear if it does not dry out clear as you own <laughs> this is the hair that i'm going to use i've had this hair for two years now just gonna hop it on and just make sure it's sitting where it's supposed to sit everything is properly fit and i'm just gonna tie it at the back just to secure it even more and then i'm going to make sure that no hair is slipping through so that when i stick it down you guys will see it does not give me a messy install i don't love messy installations so yeah that's what i'm doing as you can see right there Okay, so this is an elastic band this melts your lace you can find it at the stores that sells material for making dresses right so this i do not want so i'm going to fix it this hair is gorgeous and to think i wanted to sell this hair are you mad tat <laughs> this hair is beautiful guys and i've had it for over two years now wow anyway let's get back into the video i'm going to use a wax stick this just helps with the flyaways and making your hair look nice and moisturized and i'm gonna take my hot comb i got this hot comb from take a lot it's not that hot but it gets the job done
okay let's see how we are doing and voila as you can see there are white spots that are from the glue because i sticked my hair before the glue actually dried but that's nothing to worry about i'm going to take my rubbing alcohol as you can see and i'm going to just wipe 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 until it comes off For better security, I'm just going to spray this um, got to be spray and I'm going to make sure it's going to the places where the rubbing alcohol made the lace to lift. For better application, I'm just going to be using my finger to distribute the spray. Okay, so now I'm going to take off this thing. I've decided to talk more. Um, yeah, let's see. No ahala, guys. No ahala. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the theme of my life. No ahala. No ahala, guys. Okay. So as you can see, there's still a few spots that are white, but I showed you guys how you fix that. You just use your rubbing alcohol and no ahala, no ahala ma'am, lace lift way, way. Okay, so just to give the lace a more natural looking effect, I'm just going to use my foundation. Make sure it matches your skin. If it does not match your skin, then the lace won't look like it's growing out of your scalp. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just using a fluffy brush to blend everything in. Then I'm going to use this hair serum that I got from Take A Lot. Guys, it smells so good. So good. And I don't use a lot of it. So a little goes a very long way. I don't want to lie. And you guys will see how the hair will look. Look. Please look. Look. Then I'm going to style the hair according to the way that I felt. And I don't know if you guys can notice, but there's a bald spot right there at the top of my head. That's because I over bleached the hair, but I'm going to show you how you can fix that just using mascara. Okay. And there you have it guys the mascara has done the best job so now I'm just gonna take my hot comb from take a lot and just melt everything into my skin and my scalp and that's basically how you achieve this flawless looking installation without even having to do the bald cap methods so thank you so much for watching I'll definitely see you guys in my next video